Hello, this is Katie Parker. We're going to be making this um, netted necklace today with these beautiful cathedral drops and there are little teacup beads which are really, really cute uh, on there too. So I'm going to show you how to create the netting and then how to add the embellishment on the bottom. So the necklace I've done, so it's kind of a half necklace. Uh, I prefer this because I don't like things to sit on the back of my neck and I find it sits comfier and I've kind of just popped on a chain and some little charms on the end and then it can be adjusted to what to where you want it to sit but it sits really beautiful on the neckline you'll be able to see pictures of it on a jewelry bust on my guest designer page and i've also made in this colorway the earrings to match so you might be able to see the little teacup bead there a bit clearer really really cute but these cathedral beads are absolutely beautiful and there is another colorway so i'll pop some pictures of those on my facebook page as well so we'll move on to the demonstration Okay, for the netting, we're going to create a basic five bead netting, which uh, that will become apparent why it's five beads as we go along. It's going to start at this corner. What I would do is I'd leave quite a longer, a lot longer than this little sample piece, a nice long length at this end so you can attach your loop to attach your chain at the very end. And the same when we get, when we get to the other end. So first of all, we're going to cre start creating this five bead netting and then I'm going to show you how to move on to the embellishments. So what you need to do is get your beads all set out and ready for you and get yourself a nice long piece of thread as long as you can manage working with the longer the better because it's uh, it's always a pain kind of adding thread and pop yourself a stop bead uh, just before that tail but obviously you're going to leave a lot longer length there so you can create a loop at the very end as well. Okay, so we need to start loading up our beads. So we're going to be using the size 11s and we're going to pop 24 beads on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's 12. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 24 beads on there. So the next thing we want to do is work back up here. So we're not gonna add any beads at this point, but we're gonna count up 12 beads. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And that 12th bead, this one here, we're gonna come through that bead. So through here and pull through and that what's that is going to do is going to create that loop at the bottom okay so just pulling everything tightened together and that's created our first little loop at the bottom so now this is why we call it five bead netting is so going to pick up five so most of the time you're just going to be picking up five beads so five five size 11s and this, this first row you're going to count from the bead you just came through so i'll just put my fingernail there two four six and come through that sixth bead, the sixth bead up there. Pull this through. So now you've got an extra little loop there. And then we're going to count five more. One, two, three, four, five. So five beads added to your needle. And then we're going to count up one, two, three, four, five, six. And it should be that last bead. Don't forget that first bead right at the very top there is my stop bead. We just need to ignore that. In fact, if you've got a different colour bead, it's always better to use a different colour just so that you remember to leave that one alone. So that's our first row in. It doesn't look very kind of um, diamond-like at the moment, but that, that comes out as you work along. Okay, so from now on, unless we're at the very bottom, we'll always be picking up five beads. So one, two, three, four, five. Now looking at the last five that you added, so not included that one because that's the very top one. This is the last five. You want to come through that middle bead, so that third bead down. So we're working downwards now. So I've come through that third bead. Let's give that a little tug up there and then pull this through. And what you'll find is at the top, it'll form a kind of strange shape at the moment. As you work along, it'll form little um, triangles. But don't worry that it looks a bit of a strange shape. That's totally correct. It's That's supposed to be the way that it looks. So adding another five beads, we're going to look at this five that we added now and come through that centre bead, that third bead in that five. 
and pull that through. And we're going to add another five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to look at adding this one to the third bead. Obviously, this is a loop, so it's not a section of five. So it's the third bead down on this on this loop section at the bottom. So coming through there. Now we need to add the loop. So to add the loop, we need to add more beads because we've got to come around and back up to the side of here. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's our normal five pickup, but this time we're going to add another three. So it's going to be eight at the bottom. So one, two, three. So eight when you're coming around at the bottom and then looking at this five here. So this is the one I came through, one, two, and then count up three beads in that set five. And what that will do is give you that loop at the bottom there so it matches the rest. And you can see now your diamond shape is starting to, to come. So what we're going to do is continue coming up and down, adding five beads and going through that centre bead on each one and then that eight at the bottom. So I'll just work my way back up here. So I'm going to come through the third bead on this set. So added five and back up and added my next set. So, and then adding another one, two, three, four, five, and then coming back up to the top. Now, when you add to the top, it's gonna to be a kind of a strange corner. And what you're gonna do is come through that, the middle set of that five there. So it's this one here, this bead here. So I'm gonna come through there and then you're going to work back down again and now you can see that kind of little triangle there so this is the shape you want at the top the triangle at the top and then the loop at the bottom now that what that will give us is a longer longer at the bottom and shorter at the top so we get that nice curve of the necklace so i'm just going to move on to the next piece and show you sort of how it's come along from there so that's all you're going to do is repeat that up and down up and down so taking this piece here so you can see as you work along, and it does work up quite quickly, you'll end up with a longer piece at the bottom and a shorter piece at the top. So that's what we want. We want that curve of the necklace. Now don't worry, if you look on the top here, this it kind of seems a little bit gappy. That's okay because we want it to move and shape around the neck. So don't worry if it feel if these two beads that are stuck up just at the top there feel like there's a little bit of thread showing. That's that's what we want. We want that to actually be able to move and shape around the neckline. Okay. So once you've actually made your full necklace, mine is actually uh, if you count the bottom loops, mine's 41, so I've got a centre centre loop, so obviously this is a, a smaller piece, just, just for an example. So on the, if you want to make one exactly the same as, as my one here, that's 41 loops at the bottom. And what you're going to do is, once you've finished here, you would actually make a little loop, but I, th I think everybody kind of knows how to make just a loop of thread with some, with some beads on, and that's how you would detach your your chain. And then once you've done that, all you're going to do is work through this thread path and then come around the side of this loop and be coming in this direction. Now what you want to do is find that middle bead at the bottom. So you will find, especially as you work along, it's a bit harder to work out on the side. So if I pop my needle there, you've got five beads along the bottom and come through that center one, through, through that middle one, okay? So now we're gonna start adding our embellishments. So we're gonna pick up three size 11s we're going to pick up let those drop down we're going to pick up a teacup bead and we're going to pick it up so it's dome up so you're going down through the dome let that drop down then we're going to pick up one of our beautiful um cathedral beads which are absolutely gorgeous the first time i've got to see these close up they're amazing so that's the drop part and now we need to work back up so we need to add a size 11 and then we need to miss the 11 so missing the 11 and then come back through the cathedral bead the teacup bead and one of those 11s so just one of those 11s we're coming back through so I'll just hold on to that while I pull that through okay so I've still got my three beads that I added teacup cathedral seed bead and then I've come back up through the cathedral, the teacup and one seed bead and then I'm going to add two more seed beads and then I'm going to come back through 
that first bead, remember this first, this middle one, and I'm gonna come back through in the same direction that I started, so I can travel all the way along. So I'm gonna come back through there, pull that through, and that's my little first little drop added. So that's that all in place there, and it will sit better as, as, you, as you work along, so it's, as your thread tightens. Now to add the extra little teacup detail on, on here, you'll find you've got two beads to work up that comes towards that join. Ignore the, the, the crossover bead, just come up towards where, it, where it's gonna start that next loop. So come up the next two beads, next two C beads. And then we're gonna add this extra embellishment. So again, we're gonna come through the top dome of the teacup bead, and I'm using the alternate color in this kit. So coming through that top dome, letting that drop down, add a seed bead to my needle and then missing the seed bead, so the seed bead's still on, some, on my thread and I'm going to come back down through the little cup of the teacup and I come, I'm going to come down through three seed beads of the next loop and that will put me in that same starting position that we just had for the previous drop and that's added that little teacup embellishment there and then we can go on and create all our drops all the way along. So just very quickly, again, we add three, we add a teacup bead, which we add dome upwards. We add a cathedral bead, let them drop down. We add a seed bead, missing the seed bead. We come back up through, but we just come up one of those seed beads. So just up through one of those three that we just added pulling that tighter. Now if it comes like that, it looks like it's obviously too loose, just hold the seed bead and push it up and then hold everything in place and give that little tug and it'll come back into place. And then we add two more of our seed beads and then we come back through that first bead that we started on, that middle bead of the loop. We come back through that first bead and then up two. So I can bring that there. So you can see my beads coming through, three beads. So it's that center bead two seed beads of the loop, pull that through, and then you're in the position to pop on your next little teacup bead as your extra embellishment. So through the dome, add a seed bead, and then miss that seed bead, and come back through the dome, and then down three seed beads, like so, and then pull this through. Okay, so you're going to work that all the way to the end so it works up really quickly just like the netting does and uh, yep, keep adding them all the way to the other end and I'll just show you again what the finished piece looks like. So it's got really beautiful fluidity, it's, it's, it's really really nice to wear, I popped it on myself. So you've got all these beautiful teacup beads so that's adding you that extra embellishment and the gorgeous gorgeous cathedral beads. So yeah, so it's a, it's a really nice technique, really nice fringing technique to use. I've really enjoyed these kits. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.